It's probably one of the only places in the world you'll see grown men flogging off flying sheep. 36 up, 36 7, 37 up 7, 37 up 7, 37 done, 37. It's home to a rare breed of gay farmer. Don't worry about it, Rusty, block him up. Quick block him up, Rusty. It is just so entrenched in our language out here. If you do anything a little bit odd, you're a quit. And that's, that's just the way it is. And it's now the only electorate in Australia where the majority say no to same-sex marriage. More than 143,000 voices across 731,000 square kilometres of mostly farmland that told pollsters at least half of them feel like this. No way in the world it's a marriage between two men or two women. It's not a marriage. Homosexuality is not accepted by God. People uh, indulging in those lifestyles will go to hell. Now, living in my happy homo inner Sydney circle of gayness and working with a bunch of pinko lefties at SBS, it's pretty easy to forget there's a whole lot of people outside of my little bubble. So I'm taking me and my gay pride on a schlep across this great Queensland electorate of Maranoa to see if I can change some minds. Or who knows, maybe they'll change mine. First stop, Liberal National MP David Littleproud's turf, right in the heart of the electorate. Welcome to Warwick and to Maranoa, Thanks, my hometown. Thanks, Dave. Town. It's great to meet you and it's great to be here. Um, Maranoa makes up 43% of Queensland. That is a huge chunk of Australia. Give us a snapshot of your electorate. Our main industry is agriculture. It's the common thread that links every community right across Maranoa together. But we've also had uh, the advent of gas, coal, uh, also, tourism is starting to become a particularly big part of our world as, as people are starting to come out and explore what we have to offer. Are you opposed to same-sex marriage? As, as it stands, yes, at the moment I am. What is it that you feel um, that your electorate and perhaps you are, are so afraid of? It, at the end of the day, isn't it just two people in love wanting to get married? Uh, look, there's nothing we're afraid of. My personal view has never been thrown down the throats of the people of Maranoa. I think as a society we've moved a significant long way in terms of respecting the same-sex relationship. And I think that the, the same-sex couples need to, to understand and, and reciprocate that respect. Because you would get around my electorate, you would see that we are respectful people. It's not right. Sodom and Gomorrah, they were both destroyed by God because of their sin. Gay people getting married. If they educate children the way they think while they're young, what's our society going to be like in 20, 30 years' time? My belief is this whole debate should be predicated on respect. There's that word again, but I'm still not quite feeling it. Maybe one of the local church pastors can fix that. This guy also happens to be a bikey with a history of drug abuse, until he found Jesus, of course. I'm just going to ask you straight out, Trev. Mm. Can I call you Trev? Yes. Yeah. Marriage equality? Mm. Yes or no? No. Why? I believe in the, uh, a male and female family unit, and I believe if you, it works, um, our society has been based upon it, and if you play around with it, where's it going to end? You know, polygamy, you've got child brides. I know it's, you're thinking that it's nothing to do with uh, that at the moment. That was just uh, facts that uh, I've read and that anyone else can... can well, tell me about the facts you've read about gay and lesbian relationships. I can't uh, um, recall them all at the moment. It makes it look as though I have something against the gays and I don't have anything against gays. I love them. I'll befriend them. It's the same sex marriage that I have a problem with. Let me put this to you, Trev. I'm a gay man. I'm in a loving, committed relationship. Why is it that you feel I shouldn't be allowed the same privilege as you to marry the person I love? It's not about you. I'm not judging you. I'm not putting any condemnation on you. I'm not a fire and brimstone preacher, OK? I believe in the Word of God, and I believe that uh, God loves everybody, and everyone gets a chance to come to Him. Let me just ask you one last question. Young LGBTQI people in Australia are four times more likely to attempt suicide than any other Australian. That goes up in regional areas. Are you concerned about the message you're sending um, and the potential damage it could do to those young people? I can't cause damage to someone else. You cause damage, one causes damage to oneself, OK? You either choose to be offended or not. It's lovely to chat to you, Trev. Good to meet you. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Great to chat. Bless you. 
Awkward hugs aside, the people I've met so far seem pretty friendly to me, but it still leaves me wondering, what would it be like if you were gay and you had to live here? And the one man that can answer that is the region's only openly gay farmer. Hey, mate. <laughs> Hey, nice to meet you. Likewise, likewise. Hey, buddy, who's this guy? This is Rusty. Hey, Rusty. There is no question that this is the most homophobic part of our country. There is no greater sin out there than uh, gay people. It was just part of life that homophobia was across the board. In the schools, at church, in amongst farmers, there wouldn't be a time growing up when I was in the closet that a conversation took place without a derogatory comment towards a gay person. You're doing some mechanics on a tractor, something goes wrong. You gay this or you fucking faggot. The homophobia was violent. I can't remember a day at school where I wasn't called a faggot, where I wasn't punched in the head, where I wasn't pushed to the side, where I wasn't spat on. It was daily. I went to school with David a little proud and uh, he was part of that culture. And there wouldn't have been a school holidays. I came home where I didn't want to turn a rifle on myself when I was shooting sheep during the drought or um, driving a, a vehicle. I um, wanted to smash into a road train that was coming towards me. Ten years ago, Dave left the area and he moved into the last place you'd expect, the Big Brother house. Oh, oh come on! <laughs> Dave wanted to come out and he did it in a big way, not just to his family and the people in his hometown, but the entire nation. If I was to go speed dating, I wouldn't go speed dating when boys are on one side and girls are on the other. I'd be going speed dating when there's boys on one side and boys on the other side. <laughs> Coming out for me on national television in front of two million people was the best decision I ever made. It took the gorilla off my back and it allowed me just to get on with my life because that's all I want to do. I just want to live my life I want to share my journey with someone that I can commit to forever and know that there's that security of marriage. When I heard that David Little Proud was the new member for my electorate, I thought, you know what, maybe he's changed. Maybe he's gone on, he's gotten educated, he's left his horrendous views, his hurtful view views behind. What I think of David's policies on marriage equality, they're fucked. They're absolutely fucked. We're at the weekly pig, calf and sheep auction, about three hours from Dave's farm in Warwick. It's where all kinds come to flog their flock or haggle for a herd. And it's the perfect place for me to press the flesh. What would you do if a guy tried to come on to you? Say, so, mate, piss off, and if he didn't, well, he'd be on the ground. <laughs> Doesn't worry me, I'd treat him like any other person. Yeah. So you don't have a problem with same-sex marriage? No. No, not at all, mate, no. Who are you, mate? No, sold it. I reckon that's a load of crap. They should be allowed to marry. It's like being racist. You shouldn't be racist, so why are you bailing up on the gay marriage for? Do you reckon you're, you're, you're a bit of a rare breed in this town? Most definitely. I reckon if I could, I'd go lesbian for a day just to show them that there's nothing to be afraid of. We've got a paddock, so we've run a lot of stock. And if the bull's riding the bull, you're not doing much work here, is he? The bull should be riding the cow. Everyone up here has been pretty friendly, but I'm not so sure I've changed anyone's mind. But maybe it's not up to me to do that. What if they hear it from one of their own? So MP Dave. This is uh, Farmer Dave, who I believe you went to school Yeah, with. definitely. Well, I want you to tell everyone to know that I'm not going to hurt them. Oh, I'm not going to take away, I'm not going to take, take away anything that they have. All that's going to happen is they're going to be able to look across the fence to me and go, he is equal to me under the law. You can register your relationship in any state or territory I can in this register country. me dog too. 
The key is that it's legal recognition. That's all it comes down to is I just want the and legal recognition. And that's what I give you, legal recognition as well. But I, call it stardust, call it whatever you want. There's surely something that would give meaning to you. That you're a creative person, Dave. Surely there's a, there's a, there's a word or there's an institution. Like, yeah, why well, not create one? I'll just stick with, with the, the way that I was brought up and that is you get married. What would make me really happy is if this man could get married at home, on the farm, in his electorate, yes. you would be at the wedding. I, I'd have and, a, and if, if the eyes of law gave that, I'd have no worries turning up. I'd have no Wouldn't that be a great day? I'll be the first one to come and drink Dave's beer. <laughs> Now, from what I've seen out here, it'll be a long road to get most locals to support marriage equality. But despite sharing very different opinions to many of his neighbours, Dave isn't going anywhere. What's the future got in store for me? Hopefully a little less rain for the next few weeks, a little more when I need it. And uh, the world's your oyster. Oh yeah, fucking same-sex marriage, that would be handy too.